Hi there, I'm Michael with eTrailer.com. Today we're going to take a quick look at the Blue Ox Allure tow bar. This is a heavy duty tow bar with a durable steel construction. It's got a towing capacity of 10,000 pounds, so it's going to allow you to securely tow a vehicle behind your motorhome. Now keep in mind this is just one of the five main components that you're going to need if you're flat towing. If you don't know what I'm talking about, uh, stick with me. I am going to get, come back to that at the end of the video and explain that in more detail for those of you who are new to flat towing. But for this tow bar specifically, we are going to have the lunette ring up here at the top. This is going to attach to a pintle style trailer hitch. It does have a diameter of two and a half inches. Now, if you don't have the pintle style trailer hitch, this can be swapped out for a standard ball coupler, a receiver adapter, or a clevis attachment, as you can see on the screen there. The tow bar itself is going to work with blue ox base plates that have an arm span of 27 inches or less from center to center. It can also be adapted to work with Roadmaster base plates using the Roadmaster base plate to blue ox and Dimco tow bar adapter, again, on the screen for you. Um, basically, if you don't already have a base plate, it's probably easier to just go with the Blue Ox base plate with this tow bar if you have an option for your vehicle, just so that they line up. But if you already have Roadmaster base plates, they do have that adapter for you so that you can still use this tow bar if you like. Hooking up your tow bar to your base plate is going to be very simple. Your Blue Ox base plates and your adapter have uh, two tabs on each of the base plate arms that are going to connect to the brackets at the end of our tow bar arms. These brackets are referred to as lugs and you can see we've got three lugs on each arm. That triple lug design is going to create a much tighter, more stable connection by surrounding both of the base plate tabs so that you're getting a nice solid connection there. Everything's fitting together nicely. It is going to be very easy to uh, get it all put together. Once you have those two tabs inside your lugs, you'll insert your half inch keeper pin in each arm and then attach your included quick pin to make sure that your keeper pin stays in place. It doesn't wiggle out and become disconnected. This is a self aligning tow bar, which means uh, basically you can just pull up pretty close to uh, where you think it's going to be pull your tow vehicle up to your RV. Uh, you don't have to be in the exact right position because these do expand out a little bit. So uh, they'll allow you to kind of compensate if you're just slightly off. And then once you have everything hooked up, you can just start driving forward. The arms are going to lock out as you go. So that's going to create that nice uh, solid connection for you and the, the tow bar will adjust. We do want to give you a few dimensions. When we have the arms retracted, like they are now, our distance from our uh, ring, lunette ring, to the end of our tow bar arm is going to be 32 and a half inches. When we have it extended out, it's going to go up to 45 inches from the ring out to the arm. Now one thing that's really nice about this tow bar is it does have the non-binding feature to it. So with these arms locked out, if our vehicle were to be on uh, unlevel ground with our RV and it were just kind of slightly turned, these arms could potentially bind up. With a normal tow bar, that would just mean that it's very difficult to get them detached. But with this style, you simply push in on this latch here and that's going to unlock your arm. It's going to make it much easier for you to disconnect, especially on that unlevel ground where you would normally get bound up with most of the non-binding, non-non-binding tow bars, if that makes sense. Um, so going to be very easy to use, get connected. When you're done towing, you can store this on the front of your towed vehicle. You'll simply disconnect the driver's side arm, swing that uh, over to the passenger side. You can see we've got the included holding pin here. Let me get that higher angle again for you. 
and that holding pin can fit into the other arm and then you get an attached clip like this and just slide that down to hold those together. There we go. So then our arms are locked together and then we can take the other side and there is this um, collar uh, tab at the bottom of our driver's side arm. So once we have our arms connected, we can swing this around and that is going to line up with the base plate on our driver's side. We can use one of our half inch keeper pins, put that in there and then everything is uh, secure on the front of our towed vehicle. So uh, if we're hooked up at the campsite, we don't want to leave this sitting on the uh, RV or just laying around where someone else can pick it up and take it, we can easily attach it to the front of the vehicle. We're also going to get two eight foot long safety cables. If you're not familiar already, the safety cables are just a secondary safety device. In case the tow bar were to fail, it's gonna keep your vehicle attached to your RV so that it's not com coming completely detached. Uh, it's nice to have these included in the kit rather than to have to make a separate purchase for them. So that's a nice feature there. All of the components are made here in the USA. So you know they are a nice, good quality. This does come with a one year warranty from Blue Ox. Now, for those of you who are new to towing, um, the, your tow bar is just one of the five components that you are going to need. Depending on your vehicle, you might need more than that, but all vehicles need at least these five. So the five are gonna be your base plate, which is the po portion that attaches to your towed vehicle and mounts onto the frame of the vehicle and gives a nice solid attachment point for your tow bar. So then your tow bar is the second uh, component. Your tow bar connects between your towed vehicle and your RV to make sure that your vehicle is getting pulled along. Your safety chains are your third component, just in case your tow bar were to fail. They are also connected to the base plate on your vehicle and to your RV so that uh, if the tow bar were to fail, the safety chains are there to make sure your vehicle is still being pulled along. The fourth component is a braking system. That's very important. If your vehicle were to come completely disconnected, a braking system is going to engage to slow that vehicle down so it's not just bouncing down the highway. Uh, there's lots of different options out there, both permanent and temporary, uh, depending on what kind of RV you have. There's air brake compatible ones and inertia uh, electrical signal compatible ones. So there's lots of different options. Don't want to bog you down, but you will need a braking system. And then your fifth component is going to be lights. So you, when you're pulling a, uh, a vehicle, you're not going to be using that vehicle's tail lights to show if you're turning or uh, stopping any of those functions. So you want to be able to send the, those signals from your RV back to the back of your vehicle so that drivers behind your vehicle, if they can't see the tail lights on the RV, they'll be able to see them on the vehicle. So there's lots of different options for those as well. There's some that are bulb and socket that get drilled into your vehicle's tail lights. Um, there's some that are diodes that just tie into your vehicle's existing wiring. There's magnetic lights that just mount onto the back of your vehicle. Again, there's lots of different options for these five categories. We've got a lot of those here at eTrailer. Uh, you just want to make sure that you're being safe when you're flat towing. So you do want to have those five components. A tow bar is one very important component, but it's not the only thing that you're going to need if you're flat towing. Like I said, we do have all those components and a lot of different information for you um, here at eTrailer.com. Our goal is always to help you solve your problems so you can get back to enjoying your time outdoors. I hope this video has helped you in deciding if the Blue Ox Allure tow bar is the tow bar for you. If not, go ahead and take a look at our other options here at eTrailer. I hope that you find what you need. Again, I'm Michael with eTrailer and I appreciate you watching. We'll see you next time.